research performance is outstanding, so we pride ourselves on publishing with Q1, Q2 journals, uh, just like the big league players. And we are number one in Hungary uh, as far as the humanities and social sciences faculty goes in teaching excellence. So 95% of our instructors have PhD degrees or higher. Okay, we also have athletic pursuits. There are nine uh, team sports and 18 individual recreational sports students can choose from. Uh, choose from the head of our sports department is actually a former Olympic champion. Okay, the environment is very supportive as I led. It's more family-like and talent recognition and academic expertise are also uh, core values. Okay, a few words about why study in Hungary. So Hungary is a member of the European Union. It has a central location, so you can see it's right here in the middle. It's easy to access other uh, European countries from here. And basically, uh, it offers very affordable housing and uh, affordable tuition fees. So basically, you have, to, you have the same kind of degree, the same credit transfer system as in other European countries, but at a much uh, more affordable price. Just to give you an example, you can rent an apartment uh, with two of your fellow students for four or five hundred euros per month and you can have a complete meal at the cafeteria for three four euros okay so it has a rich cultural heritage hungary is a rich cultural heritage with a long history of contributions to art music literature and science and we have a range of landscapes and outdoor activities if you're a nature enthusiast uh, we are known for our high academic standards and, as I said, we are part of the European higher education area, so our degree is as good as the degree you get anywhere else. Okay, here are some further uh, values. Uh, let me just outline here a vibrant international community. So we also have a great many uh, international students and uh, it's a closely knit community. So we offer programs, there are institutional level programs, there are faculty level programs, as well as central programs offered to international students, and we always uh, take care of their needs and inquiries. Uh, and once again, let me highlight affordable tuition fees and living expenses and public safety. Okay, so Hungary is uh, close to the top 10% uh, of the safest uh, countries in Europe. Uh, you can leave your car doors open uh, in the middle of the inner city. Okay, so why study at Karari in particular? My colleague is going to talk about uh, more uh, Hungarian uh, higher uh, education institutions. But what we especially pride ourselves on is our library and databases that you can access from the comfort of your homes as well. Uh, in, in addition to offering high quality education, it's also known for its family atmosphere. Our lecturers and professors are renowned for highly respected members of the academic field and all faculty buildings are either in the inner city or they can be reached easily from the city center by public transit. Uh, One-way ticket by public transit is once again one euro and you can also get passes uh, about uh, 10 euro per month. Okay, a bit of a history. Uh, foundations go back to the 16th century. So Karli Gaspar, who the university is named after, was the first translator of the Bible into Hungarian. Uh, in the 16th century, and uh, other milestones are 1833, 1855. So here you can see some background information about the Theological Academy Pastoral Training School. So this will come back uh, when I talk about the particular programs we offer. So we do integrate faith into the curriculum, and uh, being having a religious background is a must for our training programs in theology but it's not a requirement for other training programs. So we encourage, encourage Christian values, but we tolerate any other religion or worldview. Okay, as for international relations, we have 210, over 210 bilateral agreements uh, in 40 countries worldwide, and we are members of INCH and CCCU, so International Network of Christian Higher Education and Christian Colleges uh, Collaboration Universities. Okay, and these are our study programs. So we offer study programs in three particular areas. These are law, humanities and social sciences, and theology. As far as law is concerned, you need to have a degree in law, a BA in law, in order to enter our LLM programs. 
We have an LLM program in European and international business school and one in energy and natural resources. Both are very uh, topical and sought after in uh, our present times. And we also have a PhD program in law and political sciences. Okay, our most popular program in the humanities and social sciences is psychology. Here we offer a BA as well as an MA program. So the BA program, you need, uh, all you need is a secondary school uh, certificate that you completed your studies and a B2 level uh, language uh, certificate. Uh, for an MA, you need a BA obviously in psychology and you need some kind of a research background. So the MA is obviously a lot more competitive uh, we have a BA in English and American Studies, once again language certificate and secondary school completion is the uh, requirement, it's a six uh, semester course, six semester training program and we have an MA English uh, Studies where you need to complete a degree in English, uh, it can be any degree uh, so you can enter an MA. Okay, European Master in Lexicography is a special program, so we offer this program in consortium with eight other universities, two from Germany, one from Spain, uh, one from France and uh, Italy as well. Uh, so basically you need a BA in order to enter this program, but if you complete lexicography, European Master in Lexicography, you get, actually get a degree from eight different universities. So all participating universities are uh, present on their certificate. It is also uh, very popular and uh, you spend one semester at the uh, base institution, in this case Carly, and one semester at one of our, uh, one of our uh, consortium partners. So there is a rotation system uh, which uh, university offers the uh, program for a particular uh, semester. <coughs> Okay, uh, we also have uh, an MA in German and uh, our new latest program is a postgraduate specialization program uh, about European and Asian relations studies. So this is a one semester program, full time program. Here we have modules about uh, public administration, EU law uh, and EU institutions. We also have uh, modules about cross-cultural communication a bit of linguistics for you, uh, how uh, people communicate in Europe and Asia, etc. And for the theology uh, MA program, you need a, a BA in a, a related field, so it doesn't have to be Protestant theology, any uh, religious or philosophical uh, degree, and for the PhD program, you obviously need an MA in theology to enter. Okay, so international scholarship, the major one is Stipendium Hungaricum, about which uh, our council is going to talk about. Let me just highlight that Karoli also offers a whole range of uh, scholarships. Uh, some of them are based on social background, others are based on excellence. So the ones that are based on excellence, you complete one semester, see how your grades go, uh, you participate in research groups. There are 110 research projects uh, going on at uh, Karoli University. So you will definitely find your field of interest and our mentors take you to conferences, uh, uh, help you prepare your first publication and obviously you get f funded by the research program itself. So let me give it over to Borash to talk about Stipendium Hungaricum. Thank you, Peter. Uh, oh yes, please. Meanwhile, let me introduce myself. I'm Consul Balaj, working here in Manila at the Embassy of Hungary. And uh, um, I'll be the one uh, you meet when you submit your visa application. Uh, but first, a couple of words about the government uh, scholarship. The Hungarian government teamed up with the Filipino government, and we provide each year 35 fully funded scholarship programs in uh, uh, one of the 600 courses available under the program, uh, taught in English language, of course. Uh, you see the pictures, which uh, uh, Mr. Peter already talked about a bit in uh, uh, a bit of Hungary. Uh, these are the main cities where the universities can be found. The whole country is just 10 million people, so easy access is provided, and. Uh, 
the community is vibrant, safe, so uh, I highly recommend uh, to study there. Uh, the prices are fair, and uh, we already have about 38,000 international students, which compares to the 10 million inhabitants. That's quite a good ratio. Uh, we opened our first university 650 years ago, so um, Hungarian excellence goes a long time. We have a couple of inventions you might be familiar with, like the first computer, vitamin C, color TV, uh, Rubik's Cube, and it's not written here, but uh, atomic bomb as well. Sorry for that. Uh, this is the system of the Hungarian higher education, which is more or less similar to the Philippines. And uh, other than the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship Program,